Ibn Qayyim rahimullah ta'ala as a side benefit that is directly connected to what we learn when he talks about jihad al-nafs after that he talks about or before that he talks about jihad al-shaytan making jihad against the shaytan making jihad against the shaytan and there is no greater enemy that the believer has than their own self and the shaytan than their own self and the shaytan so he just heard how to make jihad against your nafs how to win in the war against your own nafs how does one make jihad against the shaytan he said a person makes jihad against the shaytan by way of a sabr wal yaqeen by way of patience and certainty by way of patience and certainty because all of the attacks of the shaytan come from one of two directions upon the heart of the believer as much as at the heart of the believer, the main functions of the human heart is to know and perceive, one, and to love and intend, two. Then all of the attacks of the shaitan against his heart to destroy his heart and therefore destroy everything about him that comes from statements and actions out of his heart. And he comes by way of shubuhat and shahawat. A way of doubts and desires. A way of doubts and desires. So doubts they are thwarted by and overcome by way of certain knowledge. A person having certainty in their knowledge, knowing the religion for certain, having certainty in their knowledge. And as shahawat are overcome by way of a person, he said, being patient in implementing their religion. And so these four things, the matter of knowledge, and passing off knowledge to others, which are two of the things, the first and the third thing, in Surah Al-Asr, and they are, the, those two things are the way that the fitna of Shubuhat is defeated, by way of learning and teaching. And acting and being patient upon acting. And from acting is knowledge. To the point that a Shaykh ibn Uthameen, rahimahullah ta'ala, he said, there are many people who say that, هذا الوقت, وقت العمل, لا وقت العلم. That the time that we live in is a time for action, not a time for knowledge. And this is a time for activism. We need to get busy and preoccupied. He said knowledge itself is a lot of work. Knowledge itself is a lot of work. And this work takes the forefront. Is the most important thing that anybody in these times can be doing. Is learning the religion and teaching the religion. That by itself is acting. That by itself it's a lot of work. And it's a lot of action that is required to learn the religion. And to pass off what you know. But by way of a person acting upon what they know and being patient upon that then they overwhelm or they over or they outstrip the shaitan and defeat the shaitan as relates to the fitna of shahawat, the fitna of desires, of harmful impulses and urges and desires. So a person they are prevented from acting upon their knowledge because of their desires. Once they act upon the knowledge and they love what they are doing and they make it their habit, and they are patient upon that, then they have defeated the shaitan. And they have defeated the shaitan by way of knowledge and by way of action and patience upon all of that. And so these four things that we heard here about the jihad of the nafs, they also apply as relates to the jihad of the shaitan. The jihad of shaitan is defeating him as it relates to doubts and desires.